Can you believe it? The musical Wicked is celebrating 20 years this year. And on May 31st, Elphaba, Glinda, the rest of Oz are all going to touch down in Houston for about a month at the Hobby Center. I got to chat with Tara Kosmeyer, who plays Nessa Rose, about what it's like to be in this iconic musical. It is incredible. This has been a dream show of mine for so long, ever since I saw the tour um, in San Francisco when I was in high school. And so I'm just, I'm so excited to be here. Um, I absolutely adore playing Nessa Rose. She's been like a dream role of mine. So yeah, it's it's been incredible. And we've just had such a fun time being able to tour around all these cities. So I absolutely love it. Talking about the character of Nessa Rose, um, for people who haven't seen the show, but have seen the movie Wizard of Oz, this is the character that gets wiped out as soon as Dorothy gets to Oz. What was it, what's it like to bring her to life? Cause the, it, like, how do I say this? Um, she's just kind of a, an afterthought in, in the movie that we all know and love, but she plays a big role in the musical. I mean, the whole story of Wicked is like that untold story of, true story of the Witches of Oz. And so it's really amazing to kind of see like, oh, these people that, you know, we kind of put, you know, for, for everybody, for Glinda and for Elphaba, as well as Nessa Rose, you know, we put them into this category of this is how they are. But yeah, to be able to see like, oh, how did they come to be that way? Why do they feel the way that they do? Why do they act that way? Um, or why did the public think of them in this sort of light? Are they good? Are they bad? So it's been really fun to be able to like sort of bring that story of how she came to be and what was she in her younger years and you know especially the relationship between her and Elphaba and that kind of sisterly love I feel doesn't really get brought out a lot in the with the Wizard of Oz the actual film and so it's really nice to be able to explore those you know those sides of her character a little bit more and like flush that out. The musical also um, highlights just the gray area between good and bad, good and evil. Uh, what we've all come to know, you know, obviously Elphaba, Wicked Witch of the West, uh, as bad in Oz, you get to see kind of how she became that character. But Nessa Rose, I think, makes a really interesting journey from the beginning of the musical to the end and and goes through that whole spectrum too. She starts out with this very, um, you know, wide-eyed, very sweet, you know, seemingly so girl. But I, I do feel that there are parts of her character that are like a little bit like, hmm, like there's something going on with her. Like even from the beginning, you know, she, she's really into having control. She wants her situation to be in control because I think, you know, because of her situation, being in the chair and just feeling like, you know, she, she has no control over like what her body does even that there is this sort of like desire to, you know, just have everything be perfect. And why can't my sister just be normal and like everybody else? Um, so yeah, it is really cool to be able to play, you know, this sweet aspect of her, but then really kind of dig into like the more intense acting and the darker side of her sort of in that second act of the show. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so much fun to kind of like go through that very different arc. <laughs> I bet that pushes you as an actor. It really does take like quite the turn. And so it's it's kind of fun to be to be able to show different sides of yourself because I'm I'm usually so used to just sort of playing like, okay, one note, this is kind of how the person is. And especially, you know, um as a woman in like the field, usually it's just like, all right, just smile and be pretty and you know, look nice. But it's it's really cool to be able to kind of like, no, there's like some deep emotions here and we're like gonna get into it in this show. Let's talk about your background, because did I read this right? Do you have a, a bachelor's in neuroscience? Yes, I do. I do, I do. That's <laughs> wild. What took you on this journey? Oh, my gosh. I know. Speaking of, like, just flip-flopping, right? <laughs> um, so I um, I went to school at UC San Diego, and I was originally going to um, – it's a great, like, STEM school. A lot of people go there who want to study medicine. And that was originally my path. I wanted to be a doctor and, you know, I want to be like a brain surgeon. And so that's why I went to study neuroscience. Um, but I actually had uh, never done a musical until college. And there was a 
club at my school that was putting on rent. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'd always danced my whole life. That was sort of my hobby. Um, but I was like, let's try out the musical and, and why not? And I auditioned and got in. And um, ever since that moment, I started getting more and more involved in this club and like, you know, I was still doing my schoolwork, but less interested in that. And by the time I did end up, you know, graduating with the degree, but by the time I finished um, college, I was like, you know what, you know, you're only young once and let me, let me see how far I can push this. And so I just auditioned and auditioned and, and was able to land some solid gigs and decided to kind of switch careers from that point on. That's amazing. Cause I saw you, you've done Aladdin, Wicked, um, did I see a, was a chorus line on there as yeah, well? Yeah. Yeah. A chorus line. I just did Chicago this past summer at the Muni. So it's been, it's been a wild ride. I honestly, I, I would have never guessed that I would be where I am now. Like when I think about that, that girl in college years ago, <laughs> trying to decide, it's like, Oh, am I really about to do this? <laughs> Obviously you have the talent and it, it's taken you far. I'm so glad you tapped into it, but, um, yeah, that is, that is quite the quite the 180 yeah quite the change yeah my parents were a little nervous about it when I when I told them that I was going to do that but <laughs> hopefully they're a little more confident in it now <laughs> so now you get to travel the country you get to do these performances every night what is it like to see the people in those chairs every single night when you're up on stage uh it's there's nothing like it there's honestly there's just there's nothing like that feeling. And I think that's a big reason of why I, I originally decided like, I have to do this because there's nothing like that feeling of being able to, you know, take that final bow with your company, see all those people just smiling in the audience. I mean, even, even when I'm off stage and I'm like waiting to kind of come on, I'm like peeking into the audience and, and I have this moment where I'm just, I'm seeing their faces, um, especially where we are right now. Um, I, you know, like being able to see people's faces just smiling and so happy and just so engaged. And I was talking about this with um, another cast member about, you know, this is one of those rare places where people are off of their phones. You know, they're they're told to like stay focused on the show. They're fully present and. And yeah, it's it's just magical to be to rem to remind myself that oh yeah, like this is bringing so much joy to so many people who have either loved the show and have seen it a hundred times, or you know are seeing it for the first time and and you know finding all the Easter eggs. It's it's just such a joy, and yeah, it's definitely something to like remind yourself of, especially since you do hundreds of performances, you know, while you're on the road. Um, but it is just. Yeah, it's so magical to be able to like connect with that audience. I'm excited to take my 16 year old who's never seen Wicked before. So we're we're going next week. But what would you say to someone who who hasn't bought tickets yet? Ooh, get your tickets. It is worth it. I mean, I it's it's a cultural phenomenon for a reason. And I know it sounds like I'm biased, but it is genuinely it's the first musical that I ever saw. Um, is yeah the first professional musical I ever saw. I didn't know anything going into it. I saw it with my parents, and I came out of it knowing every song, wanting to like buy the soundtrack. You know, it's it's just it captures it captures everyone because everyone knows that that story of the Wizard of Oz, and everyone can connect to it in different ways. And so I I do not think you will be disappointed. I have yet to find a person who is. <laughs> If you're looking for more information about the show or you want to get tickets, we have a link on khou.com.